So hi again everyone, just want to continue on with my project video and uh, hopefully I can uh, post weekly updates again. But uh, as you can see here, um, we've done some changes, um, added some new features here. Uh, this is the main one that I've, uh, I've worked on this week. And uh, it's basically it's going to be a natural biofiltration. Um, and I'm going to section it some more so that it will provide me with two tiers of uh, cascading waterfall. Anyways, uh, those are just, um, I just use uh, pavers from Home Depot and just stacked it up uh, three layers high. And I, I kind of like uh, things to not be symmetrical. It looks more, more of a, it have more of a design feature like that. So in the middle section, I make it higher than the rest of them. And uh, it's gonna kind of like give it a, a, a depth, you know, to, to the, uh, the, the view. Anyways, um, yeah. And uh, later on, uh, as you can see there, there's the hole with the palm tree that I dug out. Anyways, the hole is going to be probably two feet deep later on. Let me walk you through it. Hold on. Bear with me. And you see all these nice lush plants here around this end. And yeah, you, you see I have a lot of projects going on. Um, it's not going to be done anytime soon, but it's going to be a weekly project for probably a continue on of three years or, or maybe more. I don't even know, but uh, it seems like it's going to be a... Uh, every weekend project which is good because uh, that's gonna keep me busy uh, as you can see here pretty soon we're gonna have our plants here and the plants gonna intertwine to the branches here that I had uh, what we have here are the branches we like to recycle a lot of things so any branches that we cut down from the um, Alcheo Moya tree which is uh, antibacterial the leaves uh, people use the leaves to make tea and uh, make medicine out of it so anything that's antibacterial we could uh, put it for the fish so as you can see when the leaves fall it's good for our fish and even the branches is good so that's why um, any branches that we cut I make it here make kind of like a fence but a natural looking fence it's gonna be like a half dome look later on I'm gonna pile some more and it's gonna look like a, a, a dome um, of branches and it's gonna be really neat and flower vines gonna like um, um, go on top of it and later on it's gonna kind of like droop over the branches and it's gonna provide kind of like a min minimize the evaporation as well if we have something like that because right now the surface is all open you know but if we if we create something like a, a, a dome or something like that with the plants the evaporation would minimize um, it, it won't eliminate evaporation but it will minimize it so water can go back down to the uh, core anyways uh, continue on here are the papers wow uh, it takes a lot for me to stack all these because I just eyeball everything. I didn't even measure anything. I didn't even use any ruler. I just walk around. I walk around all, all in all angles and just make sure that okay, this is straight, you know. So I like to start off like on on this side to be lower, and then as we go towards the middle, the middle section is gonna be the highest part, and later on here. I'm gonna stack some more stone and some created like a seating area so we have seating areas everywhere now later on if we barbecue or we have parties anywhere people can have everywhere to sit so it's gonna be pretty neat and this section here uh, later on I'm gonna put liners and and uh, I'm gonna create a section right here before the edge of the pool that way all the water is going to be in this reservoir and it's going to be one brick la layer lower and the waterfall is going to cascade here and then cascade back to the pool so same thing with the other side it's going to be the same concept uh, it's going to be a, a little section here not not like the a section all the way across but it's going to be just a little corner section here and where the corner is going to be higher the highest so all the water would go to this corner right here and then the water would would be uh, flowing through this edge. I'm gonna take this brick out, and it's gonna flow through the other side of the um, reservoir that I'm gonna build. And then um, it's gonna have an overflow of little waterfall right here. And then it will have an overflow of little waterfall right here. And then everything's gonna cascade down to the edge, to um, back to the core. And uh, this hole here, uh, it's gonna be two feet deep. And what I'm gonna have here is um, probably one feet deep of uh, river pebbles and medias and um, bi um, ceramic biomedias 
and a lot of stuff in here it's all gonna be filtration in this hole and how I'm gonna draw the water in is gonna be pretty simple uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, get those uh, four inch PVC pipe black pipe and kind of like a uh, create two elbows one elbow to the very bottom of this hole and one elbow to the very bottom of the uh, eight feet deep pool and what I'm gonna do is that I'm not gonna drill any hole in, in the elbows I'm just gonna use a, 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 a water pump to pump all the water out and into the pool and that will take the air uh, in, in between on the top and then it will just siphon with gravity uh, continuously so I, I just have to do that initially but I'll show you guys later on when it's ready but um yeah I'm gonna put liners here and then later on add another section on top of the liners and then another liner to the section to create the waterfall and then it will be done with the filtration and that's it for this week and stay tuned for next week okay uh, there's gonna be a lot more to work on but uh, this is just a uh, skeleton of my uh, filtration made of pavers uh, it's gonna be amazing so uh, check check out for some weekly videos next time uh, for now I just gonna end my video here thanks for watching guys